I welcome you on this amazingly sunny day in November on this beautiful Mangusta 108 built in 2003 by the famous Italian overmarine shipyard in Via Reggio. The overmarine group is one of the pedigree shipyards of Italy, famous for the Mangusta 108, 92, the Mangusta 130 and the 165. Today they are building three model lines, the Oceano range, the Grand Sport and the Maxi Open, all in different sizes. This one is the hull number 9 and bears the wonderful name Splendida, which stands in Italian for splendid, gorgeous, beautiful. And beautiful she is. If you look at her timeless lines, gliding through the water effortlessly, you really understand why the Mangusta 108 is such an iconic yacht. The current owner acquired her in 2011 and since then has invested continuously to upgrade all systems and keep her in the best shape possible. Now before we jump into the extensive lists of refits and engine overhauls, let me give you a tour of this amazing Mangusta 108. If you buy a Mangusta 108, you want to enjoy yachting to its fullest. You will get a sexy yacht a fast cruiser with a generous beach club, storage for a tender and two jet skis, and three sunbasing locations on the front, the roof and the back. Here in this aft lounge, you can transform the lounge into a teppanyaki grill experience. There is an open saloon layout, so while sunbathing, you can access the bar and the sofa area in the saloon to take a break from the Mediterranean sun. After a day out on the water, and anchored at the beaches of Saint-Tropez, you can have dinner for up to eight guests, which is also the number of beds in the four cabins. I'm standing now in the helm station, which is another star element of this iconic yacht. Here's where the captain controls the two engines, both MTU 4000 series, with a staggering 2,750 horsepower each. Those MTU engines are coupled to two Rolls-Royce Camiva water jet drives, which has been overhauled in 2017 for the 10 years service. So that means you have another seven years of peace of mind. So let me explain you a bit all the different systems. Here we have the touchscreen monitor that gives you an overview about the conditions of all the systems, your builders, air conditions, you can start the generators and everything. Here you have some systems like the horn, you can have the uh, wipers, the anchor up and down, which also has um, a control in the front, like a remote control, so that somebody in the front can also operate the anchor, of course. Those are the binoculars. This is the uh, depth and echo sounder. Then you have some touchscreen multifunction SIMRAT displays, where you can display the chart, the radar, but also the uh, uh, CCTV to survey, uh, to observe the boat and to see into the engine room. Now down here we have the Simrad Autopilot and here you have what would normally be your rudder indicator but since this one is powered with jets you have a bit more complex uh, monitoring system that shows you the steering position of the nozzle of the jets but also if there are in reverse or in front or in neutral mode. Left and right you have the RPM gorges that show you at which um, RPM you are then you have the digital compass, the GPS, you have a backup uh, steering system, the main engine controls, which is also at the same time uh, the steering control. And then for cruising, of course, you have the steering wheel, you have the manual compass, you have the VHF, you have the uh, clutch uh, system for the gearbox. This one controls also the boat thruster, which you have a backup with the uh, lever to go left and right. This is the Humphrey interceptor fin uh, trim system that makes uh, basically the boat uh, uh, go up and down a bit, the bow. It's at the back and it's uh, uh, lifting uh, the boat a bit if you want to trim in, in the waves. And then the searchlight, uh, wiper controls obviously. And here you have the two engine monitor systems to access all the information about the engines. Coming down the stairs, let's visit first the master cabin, which is the largest ever built on a Mangusta 108. 
Splendida is a true art deco palacio with plenty of detailing around the beds, the bathrooms and even in the floors and mirrors. So let's see the three other guest cabins. Here on the side we have a twin configuration. When you follow me inside, you see it's very generous layout with two big twin beds, its own TV entertainment system, a spacious bathroom with really, really high quality marble top, a sink, and then of course a separate shower, toilet with lots of uh, storage. And then going further to the front of the boat, you have the two VIP cabins, which has each a double bed, queen size, cosmetic table, nice portholes, and then of course also generous bathroom, which is exactly mirrored on the opposite side with a separate shower compartment and a nice cupboard to store all your belongings. Here we have the walk-in wardrobe, which also has a door to the crew quarters. So the crew can access and service very easily the master cabins and all the cabins. Here we are in the galley and crew mess area, which is fully equipped with a tumble dryer, washing, lots of storage. You have a melee uh, steamer, microwave, oven. You have your cooking top and also you have the dishwasher, the uh, trash compactor and of course lots of storage and lots of surface so you can prepare a really nice meal for you and your guests. Now we are seeing the engine room, which is the place where those two lines are living that propel the yacht to a top speed of 35 knots and a cruising speed of 28 knots. Everything has been updated, serviced and maintained with a mindset of preventive maintenance to have redundant systems to guarantee a non-stop operation during the owner's valuable summer vacation. So even if something breaks down, the crew can just switch to the backup system and continue the operation. As promised earlier, I want to give you a comprehensive overview of what the current owner has invested into the boat. In the winter season of 2017-18, he installed new teak. He did the 10 years Kamiva overhaul for the jet drive system. He also overhauled the generators and the MTU engines. He installed a new autopilot. The Alpha Laval fuel polishing system has also been overhauled and made sure that it's up to its best operation. And in the winter season 2019-2020, he changed all the toilet system, put new compressors for the air conditioning, as well as new compressors for all the fridges. The tender is an Avon Turbojet 430 from 2010 with around 177 hours. So you see, this yacht is really in turnkey condition ready for a new owner and you can just step on board with nothing more than your luggage and without the headache of fault finding and refitting. Also, if you want to set up for charter, she can be a charter machine with the intelligent kitchen layout for the crew which can serve the charter guests very well and they will want to come back every season to enjoy this floating beach club. We're at the end of this video. If you have any comments, put them in the section below. If you have questions, you can call me, send me an email or even send me a WhatsApp on the link on the website. If you want more content like this video, then make sure you press the bell button and the follow button. Give us a like and share the video with your friends. Thanks a lot for watching. My name is Cornelius Kistler from breezyhorting.swiss.